Good morning YouTube, it is October and this is my 600th video. So I am gonna be doing some baking. Today we're gonna be making pumpkin bread, All right? Let's kinda take a look. All right, so we have our mixing bowl and in there we've got two cups of granulated sugar and we're going to add, whoop, I've got the wrong thing. <laughs> we're gonna add water in a little bit. I almost stuck it in there now. We're gonna add two thirds of a cup of vegetable oil. Get that all in there. Get our mixer going. Aha! Now, my kids love quick breads. You know, banana bread and zucchini bread. And, I mean, they love it. They'll go through two or three loaves, just boom, as soon as I get it made. And my daughters especially love pumpkin, especially my daughter Lance, who is my Halloween baby, so that kind of is appropriate. So I love throwing this together. It really only takes a minute. All right, so we're gonna let our sugar and oil come together, and to that, we're going to add four eggs. Those are just plain, large eggs. I'm gonna let them drop one at a time. That just makes it a little easier for the mixture to come together with a nice consistency. Two. Three. Whoa, four. Okay, so. Oh. <laughs> How about I do the last two all at once? I think I meant to do that. Now I'm gonna stop for a second and I'm gonna scrape down the bowl, which also helps keep everything nice and consistent. Makes your batter evenly mixed all the way through. And for the longest time, I didn't realize why some stuff we did in baking was a thing. And a lot of what seems like extra steps is really just about consistency at the end. So that's all we're gonna do to that, and we're gonna turn it off in a second and come over here. So can turn that off, boom. All right, now we're coming over here. We have three and a half cups of flour. We're gonna add our seasonings to that. So I have whoop, a teaspoon of regular salt. I have a teaspoon of baking powder, two teaspoons of baking soda, about a teaspoon and a half of ground ginger, and two teaspoons of ground cinnamon. And this is another one of those things that ensures the consistency of the batter before you bake it. If you make sure all the dry ingredients are well mixed, well blended, before you add them to your wet ingredients, you're not gonna have a weird pocket of cinnamon or all the baking soda in one space, which would not taste good and your bread wouldn't rise. So that's all there is there. See, that only takes a second. All right, back over here. Now I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do. I may end up using both hands, so if I, I might put the camera down. Um, but we're gonna add our flour mixture, and then I've got right here, two thirds cup, two thirds of a cup of water. <laughs> and we're gonna alternate these. And again, it's for consistency. Oh, the oven's ready. Got some timing. I'll put about a third of the flour in. You don't have to be exact. And then just a splash of water. And then we will repeat. One of the things about quick breads is you really don't want to overwork the, the batter. You don't want to overdevelop the gluten because that will make your bread tough. Think about the wonderful texture from kneaded yeast breads. You don't want that in a quick bread. And that texture comes in large part from kneading to activate the gluten in the flour. All right, last little bit of water. And that is all in. And again, we're gonna scrape down our bowl and make sure there's no pockets where they're not supposed to be pockets. I think my Roomba's gotten stuck. I can hear it in the other room. There's one spot, I swear. The Roomba gets stuck and it just sits there. It's like it makes a beeline for it. All right, our last 
addition for our pumpkin bread. It's going to be pumpkin. You can use one, uh, what is it, like a 15 ounce can of uh, pumpkin, which is what I have here, or half of one of the big cans. It's 28 ounces in the bigger can, and you just take out half. And then this, these are two bananas. I like them because of the added moisture that they bring. It really does make a huge difference. And they look like this because they were frozen. I let them defrost and they've released a lot of water. I don't want the water in there. I don't want to water down the batter. So I'm actually going to put the camera down for a second, get everything in there, and I'll be back to show you what it looks like. I'm going to scoop everything off the plate and ditch that liquid. Okay, so our pumpkin and banana is in here. We're just going to beat it until it's fully combined. Oops, I can't juggle everything. I'm going to scrape down. And I have two loaf pans ready to go, just standard size loaf pans. Get all the way to the bottom. Ugh. I always make messes when I bake. Always. I've done it all my life. I end up with it all over the mixer. That's alright, it cleans up. Alright, so when you no longer see streaks, that's when you're ready to go. And we're ready to go. Just one last double check. Alright, now I know there's no way I can pour and work the camera, so I'm going to set it down for a minute. And I'll be back and show you right before we pop it in the oven. Okay, these are more or less even, just like that. Now all you do to get the pans ready is you can butter and flour the pans if you want to. I was lazy today, I just used baking spray, so I just coated it really, really well. That's where you see this residue right here. And I have the oven set to 350 degrees. These are going to take right about an hour. Now I'm going to come back and check them at about 50, 55 minutes just to make sure that they're cooking all the way through. And I'm going to check each of them with a cake tester. But uh, other than that, that's all there is to this. They took almost exactly one hour, so 60 minutes. I came in here at uh, 50 minutes, stuck them, poked them, and they weren't quite ready. But I just checked again after 10 more minutes, and the knife came out clean, so they're perfect. All right, these are going to sit here and cool for about another 10 minutes. Then I'm going to turn them out onto a baking rack and let them cool all the way. Well, I'm going to make the attempt. Kids get out of school in about an hour and a half, so I'd say they get an hour and a half worth of cooling. <laughs> That's all we'll get, but I'm going to show you what the interior looks like, show you how nice that texture is after they've cooled down a bit. There you go. Absolutely perfect pumpkin bread. It is moist. It's still a little warm. Moist and it tastes amazing in your house. Oh my gosh, the way it smells. I'm going to sneak this piece. Mm. Oh yeah, that is so worth the effort. Although it wasn't much effort. Hey YouTube, thanks for watching. And if you thought that video was helpful, do me a huge favor. Hit like, hit subscribe, hit the little bell so you get a notification whenever I post a new video. And if you have a second, hop on over to Patreon and check out how to support my channel even more. Again, thanks for watching.